Hey guys, it's Asim Sharma, Training Manager from Solframe Consulting. Again, I do hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I want to explore the aspect of um, maintaining relationships. And now, relationships can take any kind of form. So it could be within the family, it could be, you know, a relationship with your parents or vice versa, uh, parents with their children or, uh, you know, with your better half, your wife or husband or, I guess, boyfriend or girlfriend as the case may be. Um, friends, uh, work colleagues, acquaintances. Now, you know, a lot of times there are misunderstandings and, you know, people say that, uh, um, you know, disconnect or breakups occur uh, because of a lack of communication. But it's not always as simple as that. It's not just about, um, you know, communicating effectively. It's also what you actually discuss. So, Apart from, you know, obviously you want to be transparent, uh, you want to be able to trust each other and all of those things. Um, I think it's also important uh, that, uh, you know, if there's a kind of controversial topic or there's something which you hesitate, and I mentioned this even in the previous video, something that you hesitate to give in terms of feedback. Maybe it's something you don't like what the other person does. Let's say you're with your, your, your wife or husband, your partner, and there's, there's a habit that you really can't stand. And you hesitate to actually tell them that. Um, well, that becomes a problem because it's going to eventually, you know, accumulate, and then it could, you know, be, have an explosive effect, uh, as in if you have a big fight, and that can lead to a lot of issues, obviously. Um, so, I think it's important that uh, you know we make sure that um, we introduce each other to uh, the concept of disliking certain things, so that it gives. The other person time to accommodate that in their mind and accept that okay this is something which maybe I think is okay but the other person doesn't like or this is something I do which annoys them something like that right it gives them some time not not exactly to grieve that would be a harsh word but you know to think that oh this actually is something which is you know disliked by someone who I love or someone who's very close to me it could be friends right so um, I'll give you an example I don't have experience with relationships, not till now, um, but uh, with a friend, or it happens with quite a few friends, what I don't like, personally, and you know, people get very defensive about this, and I tell them, some people will not be in touch with me for ages, and then randomly they will just call as and when they wish, and I find that inconsiderate. Now, if it's an emergency, it's urgent, then it's different, and where possible, I often do attend the call but I will simply attend the call to say that hey is it anything urgent because I'm busy I'm working or I'm you know walking somewhere outside and you can't hear me and you're complaining or seeing me on a noisy background well at least I was polite enough to answer the call instead of declining the call which a lot of people do I'm not judging people who do that by the way I'm just saying that that's not something I like doing or you know that kind of um, dilemma that you let the phone ring and you just put it on silent and give them the impression that you're not answering rather than declining. So, <clears throat> very rarely I would decline a call. I mean, we've all had this. I don't use my smartphone to play games, okay? But I've seen people who are playing games, they're immersed in it, and even if someone important calls them, they'll be like, I'm cutting the call now. This is really annoying. So I see that frustration. But sometimes if I'm doing something important, let's say I'm doing a bank transaction on my phone and someone calls, um, you know, unless it's someone really important or it seems urgent, I'll be like, get lost. <laughs> so that's a little different. But what I'm trying to say here is, I have said to those friends that, look, um, you know what? I find it a bit inconsiderate that you will call as per your whim. I don't think that's right. Um, and then they say, oh, we need an appointment with a scene, do we? In a kind of sarcastic way. I don't appreciate that. I, I laugh it off, but I say, hey, no, it's nothing like that. But I think we should respect everyone's time. Simply ping me. You know, most people use WhatsApp or whatever, or text me. You know, just just let me know. Just check. Because that's what I do most of the time. And I also realize that some people aren't as active. Or people are online. They're reflecting as online, but they may not read my messages for months. I have no idea what they're doing. They don't intentionally check my messages or that's just how they are with me i do receive lots of messages i'm in groups as well for work etc but um, um i always make sure i know when someone has texted me and i will always make sure not to forget 
to respond to them and I let them know look I'm busy may I speak to you or chat with you or talk to you in a couple of hours and in case that doesn't happen as I mentioned in my previous year's videos about giving people timelines okay sorry something has come up or whatever not that oh I completely forgot or you know people say I'll just call you back and I'm sorry I don't mean to be offensive but 90% of the time that never happens so when people say, I'll just call you back, I'm like, yeah, right. So <laughs> what I'll do is I'll, I'll check with them in a couple of hours just to give them that gentle kind of prod that, look, are you there? Hello. So it's one of those things. Um, but um, yeah, on, on a more serious note, I would you know check someone's availability. I would try to schedule a time or I'll say what's mutually convenient for you. When do you tend to be free? Uh, people often think that Sundays are kind of like, you know, free for, for most people. For me, every day is almost the same. It doesn't seem to be any different anymore since the pandemic began. I will work where and when I can. I'm a, I'm a kind of nocturnal person as well, so I also work at night sometimes. That um, is quite a peaceful uh, kind of solitude. Uh, so it allows, the, you know, you have an experience where you have no distractions. There's no one, whoever else is in your family who would normally prod you during the day, they're asleep. So, you know, there are practical issues to that, right? Everyone is kind of asleep and it's all peaceful. But sometimes you're very tired and you don't you don't have the capacity to be able to do things. There are people who say, oh, it seems you want to talk at one o'clock in the morning over a call. Not because I don't find it appropriate, but because I, I would probably sound like a zombie at that time. But I'm happy to chat. I can chat till four o'clock in the morning, till the sun rises during summertime, of course. So that's, that's different. I have chat marathons sometimes with with uh, a couple of close, uh, you know, people, close friends, or um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll call them friends for now. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's important to be able to communicate effectively. Now, coming back to the original thing, I, I digressed a bit of a diversion. Maintaining relationships, irrespective of what kind of relationship it is, you need to have effective communication, not effective communication, actually functional. I don't like something, I'm going to tell you, whether you like it or not. It'll take you time to warm up to that, and maybe you will not change yourself or make a compromise on my behalf. And that would at least let me know where I stand. And I think that's important, especially if uh, maybe you're finding a life partner, and you need to be able to... It's not always about compatibility, there will be differences. But, you know, that mutual respect or understanding that, okay, you have this habit, I don't have this habit, maybe you sleep late, I don't. How is that going to affect how we're going to manage things? And if there's an understanding, there's regular communication, there is that ability to warm up to an idea and maybe improve yourself if you have to, as I mentioned the day before yesterday as well, regarding coming out of your comfort zone, but also improving for the better, not because people want you to be something who you are not and you are not comfortable in doing. So not succumbing to peer pressure per se, but if someone says to me, I seem you're fat, you need to lose weight. I'll be like, yeah, you're right, I do. If someone says to me that, Asim, you've lost weight, but now you need to get ripped, I'll be like, get lost. That's not what I'm doing. I'm very happy to have a little bit of flab. Uh, as long as, you know, I'm otherwise healthy, I'm active, I can run when I have to, and, you know, my joints are in good shape, and I can, you know, live a long, healthy life, uh, hopefully with someone who I find who I love, uh, then that's, that's my life sorted. And of course, focusing on my career and my skills and developing them. So I'm always open to feedback. Although sometimes people say that I'm not open to feedback because, again, this is the thing about communication. People think that, look, we tell you something, seen, but you don't do it. What they don't realize is I'm already doing it or it's not actually uh, presenting itself that way. Or I've already done it and I've already explained that it hasn't worked. So, you know, it, it, it's one of those things. Um, changing your routine, changing your habits trying something new, maybe trying a, a new kind of food, uh, and anything, you know, learning a new skill, as I said. So that's important. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. For further tips and tricks, please do subscribe to this channel and give this a like, a thumbs up if you found it useful. Um, you can also find us on FB, Insta, and LinkedIn. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, please visit our website. Oh, I am having a tongue twister now. Visit our website, solframe.in. That's S-O-L-F-R-A-M-E dot I-N. Uh, till next time, I do look forward to meeting you on our courses. We offer things all the way from ranging from personality development, public speaking, interview preparation, soft skills, communication skills, you name it. And um, anyway, do take care. Thank you very much and goodbye.